All right, here we go. This question in response to a video about installing your main drain. This was in particular um, with an in-floor system. I suppose you could address it both with an in-floor system or without. What drain do you recommend? And do you use one and a half or two inch pipe? So if we're talking in-floor systems, the main drains, what I use exclusively is the MDX drain from Paramount. And the reason being is it's all VGB compliant, number one, and it's four inch suction that you can reduce down to two and a half inch suction. So to me, there's no such thing as an inch and a half line in an in-floor system. If it's, if it's on the suction side, which is the main drain, minimum is two and a half inch line. On the return, however, back into the in-floor system, those tend to be two inch lines, nothing less than two inch. Suction side, two and a half to four inch. In a lot of cases we run four inch, sometimes we run three inch, on occasion two and a half inch. But on the suction side, you always wanna make sure, to, for it to be VGB compliant, to make sure that you have no anti-entrapment problems with, uh, with that main drain line, you have to up that size of the, of the line considerably. And um, I would say probably on average, when I think about it, we run three inch lines there and then two inch return lines to each of the zones. There you go.